Hi, welcome to Cowboy Studio. Today, I'm going to demonstrate how to put together our egg crate soft box. Now, first thing, it's going to come with a couple of different things. First, it's going to come with a mesh part that has Velcro on it that's used to create the egg crate effect. It's also going to come with an outside and an inside diffuser, as well as a carrying case. Now, a speed ring, and this speed ring is slightly different. If you notice, it does have one loop that is just slightly different than the other ones. And I'll show you all in a little bit why that piece is important. It also is going to come with the rods. Now, as you can tell, you have three normal rods that can be found on a regular softbox. As well as one that is slightly different. It has a rounded joint, and it's going to have an additional securing piece. Okay. And then last but not least, the softbox diffuser. This comes with the silver lining, black outside, and then it does have a thick Velcro strap around the inside. Now, we are going to demonstrate by putting this onto our 180 watt strobe today. All right, now, first thing you want to do is take your speed ring face down and set it in the middle of your soft box on a table. Okay. Then, taking the rod that has the ball joint at the end, you're going to go ahead and insert it into the hole that's slightly different, and you're going to slide it around to where it's sticking straight up at you. Then we're going to insert the additional three bars just by sliding them in. Now this does take a little bit of effort, so just be prepared whenever you're doing this. You're going to slide it into the hole that's made by the Velcro. Make sure it's all the way in there. Okay. Now also, be aware just what I did, there's a smaller piece and a larger piece. Make sure that the larger piece is actually the piece that fits into the, so into the speed ring, and then the smaller piece actually goes into the soft box. I always recommend going with the opposite corners. So I'm going to go ahead and move over to the other side. Now make sure that you line up in the correct holes. Okay. That was starting to look a little bit funny, but as you add more shape to it, it will. Now that you've got three of the four in there, it is going to have an odd shape to it with this one still sticking straight up at you. What you need to go ahead and do is actually insert it into the hole just like this to where it's still sticking straight up and make sure this is out of the way. Go ahead and slip it around until it comes straight up. As you can see, you do this by grabbing the speed ring and just slipping it around and it does take a little bit of effort. There we go. To put it around, because as you can see, when you turn your soft box over, there is a little hook that you need to be around to be able for it to fit in place correctly. All right. You're going to go ahead and piece the Velcro pieces over to where it does cover the rings of the soft box. Once you've done so, let me go ahead and flip this over. Okay. Once you've done so, you're going to go ahead and slide it onto your strobe. Okay. Then using the inside diffuser. Go ahead and attach it to the white straps that are included there. On top of your strobe, go ahead and insert the inside diffuser just by hooking the hooks right over the white straps that are available. Okay. Then, we're going to go ahead and attach 
our outside diffuser. Now, as you can see, it does have Velcro right on the inside to where it just sticks in. I start with the top and line it on the inside, kind of as close to the edge of the Velcro as you can get. Okay. And I go down at the bottom and do that side as well. And then I work my way up the sides, attaching every so often and then smoothing it out. And then I do also on the other side, where it's fit in there nice. Okay. Then you use the egg crate soft fix. Now, as you can tell, there is Velcro on one portion of it. I do the same thing. Start with the top by attaching it in there, just inside of the diffuser. And then I do that again on the bottom. Okay. And then I slowly work my way up the sides. Now this will be at an angle when you first start, so just be aware of that and just attach every so often. And then I do so on the other side as well. Make sure it's all nice and snug in here. And if there is any gaps like there is here, just go ahead and reapply it. And don't be afraid to just pull it out and start over again if you need to. Go. Okay. Now, as you can see, you've got your soft box. Now, the great thing about this feeder ring, it does have the ability to turn just by sliding it around on there. Or if you want it even at an angle, you can definitely do that. But it does give you a couple options as far as how to use this in different lighting effects. If you do have any questions, please feel free to go to our website at cowboystudio.com. Thanks.